family this is like you becoming whole okay i'm seeing like a wholeness mentally physically spiritually emotionally this is creating a portal okay to the divine and for you to really really okay tap into your true self and discover the abilities that you never even knew you had family how y'all doing it's your girl the fly empress and i am here to give you guys another energy update we're going to see what's going to be going on this weekend for you guys um always remember that this reading will not resonate with everyone so only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind um, the energy could be about you it could be about someone else that's close to you but like I said, I only take the messages that resonate, family. I had this young lady on TikTok talk about this don't resonate with me. Baby, that wasn't for you, okay? That's not your reading. All right, maybe next time. Like I said, I mostly pick up on the people energy that resonate or like the people who um, engage with me, the people who comment, the people that always show up, all right? So like I said, if you want me to pick up on your energy, start engaging more, okay? Like the video, comment, even if you just leave a heart, all right? Um, soon or eventually, I will start picking up on your energy, all right? So, family, I also want to thank all of you guys who have been purchasing private readings from me. Y'all have been hitting y'all girl up left and right. Y'all miss me that much. Huh? Y'all miss me that much. I miss y'all, too. <laughs> I definitely feel more stable in my life now. Um, I did cut it off for a little while, y'all, because I was going through a lot a lot of grief okay i lost somebody who was very close to me but um i finally got my power back my energy back and i'm definitely you know working through it okay things in the house are starting to balance out as well i had to take my little girl to therapy so yeah i just had to get myself in order before i could you know start back doing private readings but y'all thank y'all thank y'all for all y'all love support and encouragement and if ain't nobody told you today that they love you know that the fly empress love your ass okay <laughs> y'all i just got back from my son play he did so good my baby is a little actor do you hear me he was like a main character it, the play was so good and it was funny, but um, I'm so proud of him. I am. My daughter, she scored a 27 on her practice ACT. I'm so proud of her. Even though it wasn't a real thing, I'm proud of my baby, okay? I know that she's going to do great. She's going to do great things, but I'm just proud of my children at this time, y'all, okay? Um, definitely a reason to celebrate. I can't wait to Thanksgiving. They um they they can't wait till I cook my glazed ham. They love my ham, y'all. And I don't even eat ham. They don't even eat ham through the year. But when Thanksgiving come and mama make that glazed ham, everybody at the table. Okay, everybody wait. My daughter said, Mama, I've been thinking about that glam glazed ham all day. So yeah. <laughs> we gonna throw down for Thanksgiving. We're gonna throw down. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to break my little diet on that day. Then I'll start back. And then I'm going to break it again for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, y'all, let's see what's the energy around my beautiful collective. Somebody is in their head. Okay. For some of you guys, you could be in your head about a new beginning or um, a new level you're about to embark on, but there could be somebody around you that's obsessing with you at this time about some type of new beginning, okay? You could be definitely moving to the next level or a new phase in your life. I'm seeing a lot of potential. I'm also seeing you showing the world who you really are or coming out more. I'm seeing skills, success, accomplishments, yeah, for some of you guys, you are working on a new skill set or you will be in the near future. For some of you guys, you could be obsessing about something that you're doing at this time. And it's because you're trying to get to the next level. 
you could be really in your head. This is kind of giving me like you could be studying for a big test and you don't know if you're going to pass this test or you don't know how this test is going to go. You could be working a lot and it's like you really don't have time to study, but you could be in your head about it. Okay, I feel like you're trying to, but there could be some type of distractions around you or you just got a lot of responsibilities going on at this time. But there's definitely somebody who's obsessing about going to a new phase or a new level in their life or in somebody else's life. Let's see. Spirit, show me what I need to see here for the collective. What do they need to know? Truth and clarity for my collective. Sexual fantasies. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. Yeah, y'all. Um, there's definitely somebody that's in you guys' energy that is, I've been picking up this so heavy, that is obsessing about you, thinking about you a lot. They could be thinking about the old times or like when the two of you guys was intimate or like I'm hearing late nights. Um... But definitely, I'm hearing body to body. This is somebody who definitely want to be intimate with you again. Or for some of you guys, there's a new person that's obsessing with you. And they are having a lot of sexual fantasies about you as well. For others of you, I feel like there could be somebody new that you're dealing with. And this person could have somebody from their past that's obsessing about them. Yeah, they're wanting to be intimate with this person again, but I feel like they're trying to use tactics or tricks to lure this person back into their bed or something. This could be somebody who have a very dark spirit as well, or like, this is somebody who's in their darkness, okay? I'm hearing in the era of their darkness, okay, or in their shadow self. Mm, spirit, show me what I need to see here for the collective. Y'all, this energy been coming out too heavy. They're trying to compete. Somebody is trying to compete against you. Or it's like they know somebody is wanting to be with you. Or maybe this person is already with you. But they feel like this person belongs to them. Okay? Yeah, I'm hearing trying to take what's not theirs. For others of you, it could be a sibling. Okay, that's wanting to be intimate with your man, or this could be a relative or a friend or somebody you thought you can trust, um, or this is somebody who's wanting to be with somebody you was with in the past. But for a lot of you guys, there's a person that's wanting to come into your life, or like I said, you with this person already. It's a hater here, okay? It's a hater here. Whoever this is, they feel like this person belongs to them. This could be somebody who shared children, they could share children together, don't have to be. Or like this person feel like you should share this person with them or something. Yeah, but I'm hearing you can't compete where you don't compare. So the person don't compare with you at all, okay, at all. Um, I'm hearing I've been there, done that. So this is some somebody that I feel like this person... Um, it's not wanting to be with anymore. Like, this is somebody that you guys could be dealing with this on a new level or this person done outgrown a lot of ways that they could have been in in the past. Like, whoever this is I'm picking up, they have matured at this time. And I am seeing, like, they don't put some type of ending to a situation here. But I feel like there's a person that don't want to give up or they don't want to let this person go. I'm also seeing that family, um, there's a need for you guys to be careful, especially if you're driving or traveling or something like that. Um, somebody could be competing on the road. Okay, I'm getting like a race. Okay, and this could end up very tragic. Y'all be careful on the road here. Okay, because I'm seeing like um, somebody trying to drive too fast or move too fast or not paying attention. Yeah, okay, I'm definitely seeing like somebody trying to outbeat or race against someone else, but this could end very tragic. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, family, 
um, this person is going to try to get something that they, that's not theirs or it's not theirs anymore, but they're going to end up getting hurt in the end or like something is going to blow up in their face. Somebody might get their feelings hurt this weekend or something. Show me what I need to see. We got unseen. Yeah, I'm hearing blind side. Okay, y'all definitely like be careful if you're traveling because I'm getting like blindsided, not seeing something common. But I'm also seeing that, yeah, it's going to catch this person off guard or like they didn't see this coming. They thought somebody was for fake and they about to see that somebody is for real. Something has ended here between two people. And I feel like this person is trying to stop someone from making a decision but this is somebody who's in a lot of darkness okay they're in a lot of darkness um but they're trying to stop somebody from getting away or moving on with their life some plan or idea is not going to work yeah, I'm picking up like high vibrational, okay? For some of you guys, you could be from the LGBTQ community, um, don't have to be, but I'm seeing like somebody here has raised their vibration. They're not who they used to be. Like this could have been somebody who was out there, okay? They was using that player card left and right. They was reeling them in and throwing them back. Somebody could have been... um heavy into drugs or alcohol or, you know, their life was just a mess. It was chaos. Okay. That shit was crazy. And whoever this is, they don't have some type of awakening or epiphany. And they see that it's time to be more mature or change their life. Yeah. Somebody is, um, I'm here unlocking their chakras or have unlocked their chakras. And it's like spirit done started speaking to this person. And I feel like whatever spirit is telling this person um, is guiding them on the right path. And I'm also picking up like it's guiding them to come towards you. Whoever this is, they know or they feel like they can't beat you. Okay. Something about your beauty or what you know, your knowledge. Like this could be somebody who knows something about you. This person could be doing research on you. Yeah, especially um, if you're on the internet or online. We got exploring, okay? Yeah, somebody is looking in a different direction. I, I do feel like um, in the past, whoever this was, like they was definitely into like being with multiple people, but this is somebody who has awakened or they see something clearly. I keep hearing spirit has called this person. Yeah, this person I went through some type of enlightenment about the past or the person that they were. This could be somebody who live in the city or like this could be somebody who's trying to find their way back to you. Okay, if this is somebody who walked out of your life. But for others of you, it's like this person is looking for you. This could be somebody who's about to come into your life. Okay, it's like they're they done. They don't want to just, you know, be sexual with a person. They don't want to just get high all day or smoke all day or drink all day. This is somebody who has really grown up. Yeah, we got phases, okay? Something here is about to end. Something could be happening around the quarter moon. I'm also picking up the full moon. Something will be released or let go of. I'm also seeing like family, you could be exploring different options at this time. That's going to lead to the path of success. I'm also seeing you guys exploring like different careers or opportunities, things that would make you happy. Okay. This is giving me like 
uh, this is giving me like you guys feeling good here. You're ready to feel good about what you do in life or what you do in your life. It's like if it don't resonate with you no more, you're letting it go. This is no longer holding on to something that you know that's causing damage to you or you don't love or like it don't resonate with you no more. But some of us, we have a, a very hard time letting go of things that's unhealthy for us. And I feel like a lot of you guys are seeing this now, okay? There's some type of ending that's about to take place. Yeah, baby, manifesting what? So yeah, family, I am seeing you in this manifestation phase in your life literally manifesting stage okay phase in your life literally yeah i'm hearing the old you is dead and gone or a situation is about to be dead and gone something here that was a struggle it was very hard to like get out of okay some of you guys could have went through a dark phase in your life or you have been going through spiritual warfare but I'm seeing like spirit is giving you your energy or power back. This is also you guys rediscovering your power. It's almost giving me the Phoenix energy. Okay. I'm hearing ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Like this is you guys rising out of the ashes. I'm here renewing your life or renewing yourself. But there's definitely somebody around you that's doing the same thing. Somebody is uh, mirroring your energy right now. Spirit. Somebody is also talking to an ancestor as well. Okay, or an ancestor could be talking to you. This could be somebody who done passed on. But I feel like you're able to communicate with this person. Or this is somebody who's communicating with you. I'm hearing giving you the power and the strength. Giving you wisdom or knowledge here to take some type of action. Yeah, and I feel like you listening. Yeah. I'm also picking up like you guys are combating some type of darkness. I'm hearing a dark force or a dark energy. Yeah, for some of you guys, you are a light worker. Um, you're able to see in the dark or you're able to see the darkness in people as well. There definitely could be somebody who's sending you the evil eye and you know. And it's like, for some of you guys, you're combating this darkness with love. That's what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, you are combating this with love. Whoever this is, you could be sending them love and peace. But they're sending you like hate and anger. And it's like love always conquer evil. So somebody is being conquered because you don't lighten your heart. You don't found peace in your own life or this is something you will be doing. And this is what's making you stronger. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody darkness is being buried or um, I'm hearing taken out. Yeah, because it looked like she's off in, inside of like some type of crevice here. But I'm seeing like um, the more you get your power back or the more you focus on healing are raising your vibration. Somebody's life is falling apart. Yeah, they didn't see this coming, okay? It could have been somebody who used negative energy against you. Somebody could have went to a grave and got some grave dirt, graveyard dirt, and tried to put a spell or cast a spell on you. But it's like they didn't know, okay, that this was going to come back and bite them in the ass. Yeah, what they wished on you is done came back on them. Okay, yeah, this look like somebody who's in a grave or somebody who definitely done fell apart. Somebody is also losing their mind here. Spirit, what else? Somebody could be from Louisiana, don't have to be. But um, I'm seeing like um, tapping into things that they didn't know nothing about. I feel like this could be somebody who might decide to reach out to you. Um, this could be somebody who want to talk to you for some of you guys. 
It could be somebody from the past for some of you, okay? This could be a friend or an ex or somebody you're related to. Um, or this is somebody you're dealing with now. Like, it could be somebody that they once dealt with. They could try to reach out to you or message you here. They want to know if you're dealing with somebody or not. Okay, somebody got their suspicions is what I'm hearing. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're not going to respond are like um i'm hearing you're not going to entertain something here somebody want to know if somebody is um the other way okay somebody is going to want to know the truth i feel like some type of evidence that came to the light or you could know something about someone and um they could be wondering if you know the truth or not okay as well but I'm hearing like somebody could end up asking this question to someone. Like just say, for instance, they are at like a Thanksgiving dinner or something. There could be a family member that asks this person like, you know, are you gay? Are you bisexual? Well, we hear, we hear rumors, stuff like that. Okay. Somebody could end up getting confronted. Yeah. They didn't see this coming. Oh. Some of you guys, you can feel like um, there could be somebody in the LGBTQ community that's trying to compete against you, or they feel like they should have the same rights as you. Okay, you could be a woman, um, but this could be a man, but they could act very feminine or they dress feminine. Um, this is somebody who feel like they are just as good as you or they're better than you or they know more than you. Some of you guys are going to put somebody in their place. Yeah. Yeah, whoever this is, they could be having sexual fantasies. Somebody could be having sexual fantasies about you, okay? You can know this person. And this could be somebody who haven't really came out to you that they like you. But for some of you guys, you already know who this person is, okay? Yeah, they not hiding shit from you, you know. But I feel like you don't go that way. Or for some of you... You don't go that way no more, okay? You could be done change your life or you are looking in a different direction now. Mm. Yeah, whoever this is, like I said, somebody is manifesting under the full moon, okay? Or trying to use like the moon phases to cause some type of problems in your life or this is something that they did in the past. But for some of you guys, Whoever this is, they still trying to do this because they're trying to cause some type of blockage. And I do feel like it's between you and someone else. For others of you, there's somebody you don't walk away from that's trying to cause blockages or this person could be trying to put a love spell on you. Okay, yeah, so definitely be careful. They could be wanting for you to have fantasies about them or think about them. And I feel like a lot of you guys, um, like this person can't, interfere with your energy anymore okay they just can't i'm hearing you're stronger now i'm also hearing more clever something about you being strong and clever at this time spirit show me what else what else do the collective need to know oh <laughs> we got conflict okay you could be going through some type of conflict or somebody is going through some type of conflict. But I feel like this is going to be defeated. When this card came out, it flipped like this. Something here is going to be defeated before it even gets started or stopped, okay? Before it even come your way. Yeah, it's like you see this coming or you know this is coming. Yeah. I don't know why I'm hearing Neo. <laughs> the way she got her hand up here, this is kind of giving me Neo. So like any bullets or like if people are trying to target you, something is going to be stopped real quick with the quickness. Okay, real quick. Yeah, I'm hearing you ain't even going to flinch. Like, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like right now you are content or there's some type of contentment coming into your life. For some of you guys, you could be around somebody that you feel like is a problem 
or like this is giving me like you got to be around somebody but you don't want to be around them but you got to be around them and this could be like family members or people you really don't deal with like i said for some of you guys you could be traveling out of town or something or um, you're having to meet somebody you don't want to go because you feel like things are going to go left. But I feel like you're going to be just fine. Okay. Don't worry. Um, I'm also getting like you exuberating this strength and courage and like you speaking your truth and you not holding back. Yeah, this is somebody who can't overpower you. Maybe this person could do this in the past, but they can't do this no more. I'm seeing you guys going shopping, okay? You could be spending time with um, a, a, a long-lost friend or somebody you haven't talked to in forever. Somebody you've been, been meaning, want, like, somebody you've been meaning to, like, link up with or hook up with. You and this person could be doing some shopping. I'm picking up, like, going out to eat or connecting with each other. But this is giving me, like, good energy, though, Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing like a day out on the town. Um, you could be looking at buying gifts or ornaments or something like that for your Christmas tree. Or like I said, some of you guys, you could be shopping, grocery shopping for Thanksgiving. Or you're buying things that you need around the house. This could be toiletries or like things for your children. This could be clothes, like winter clothes, something like that. But I am seeing you engaging with somebody you absolutely adore or you love. Yeah, high vibrational frequencies. It's like this dark energy can't come towards you. And it could be using people to try to come towards you, but you're not letting it phase you. you. You're responding and not reacting, okay? I'm here and stand in your grace. Stand in your divine energy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking up like family for some of you guys. You're going to see this weekend how powerful you really are or how you can influence people or influence their mind. Okay, or you cause a shift in energy. You're going to be able to see this. This could be something that's going to be going over into like next week as well. But I'm seeing like you guys influencing people with your mind or your energy. It's like... You can come into a room, it's very negative, or like um, you could just sense the tension. But when you step in the room, I feel like it's going to shift, baby. Yeah, I'm hearing the empress is here, or the emperor is here. Like, yeah, it's like these dark entities got to bow down, okay? But I am seeing like entities jumping from vessel to vessel to vessel because they see you don't rediscover your power or your strength or you, you are operating in your divine energy at this time. Yeah, I'm hearing don't let the devil influence you. You influence the devilish people, all right? Or the people who are operating in low vibrational energy. Yeah, baby, you the teacher, okay? Somebody is about to get taught a lesson. Yeah, and for some of you guys, you're gonna realize that this is an ability that you have. Yeah, I'm picking up like spirit teaching you and you learning this, you would, you are gonna be absorbing this. And um, I'm picking up like your confidence. Something about your confidence increasing. It's like, wow, I didn't know I could do that. Yeah, you can do that. Um, For some of you guys, you are going to be teaching people here, okay? Or um, something about follow the leader. You could be stepping into a leader position where you're going to have a lot of influence, or something about people seeking you out. This could be younger people or people who's very immature or they're not mature when it comes to spirit, okay? This is you teaching people a lesson as well. Yeah. I'm telling you, baby, you strong. You are powerful. You finna find out how powerful you really are. I'm here and pay attention. Pay attention. I'm also hearing put on the suit of armor when you go out, okay? Yeah, don't let nobody deter you or like get you out of character or get you um, in a low vibrational energy because you do got angels working through you, okay? You do got angels um, guiding you or working through you 
definitely picking up on ancestors and spirit guides as well. Family spirit is wanting for you to pay attention to numbers or signs. Also, you could be paying attention to the clock. It's like everything is going to start resonating or you're going to start seeing signs everywhere. I'm actually seeing 111 on a billboard or 111 on a mailbox, 111 on a tag. It's like you're going to be seeing this everywhere. And this is like a sign from your angels, like they are with you or they are currently operating through you to get to somebody else or to heal somebody else as well. But I'm seeing this is also healing your life. Some of you guys might decide to play the lotto, okay, or you could be getting like a lottery ticket or something. But I'm seeing definitely a lot of synchronicities, a lot of signs. I'm, I don't know why I'm hearing singing or something dealing with music. This could be something you haven't heard in a long time. And this could be playing when you go into a store or a grocery store, or this could pop up on your radio. Or like if you're listening to, um, if you got like a playlist or something on your phone, there could be like some music that's gonna pop up that you haven't heard in a while. And I feel like it's going to take you back to a certain time, okay? It's like Spirit also going to be showing you how far you done really came. Because for some of you guys, you don't feel like you done came that far, okay? For some of you guys, you could have had like an ancestor that was a teacher. This person could have taught school or this is somebody who taught Bible school, Sunday school, or this was an educator. This was somebody who was all into knowledge and education, yeah, this person could be an angel at this time that's helping you or showing you certain things here. They're also like fighting against some type of darkness, okay? Something you can't see with the physical eye. They're going to be fighting against this. Or they are fighting against this at this time. I'm hearing it's a lot of them. But I'm hearing follow the leader, okay? Like I said, this could be a teacher, and this is causing a drastic change in your life, a drastic change. I'm here cleaning it up. Or for some of you guys, you are going to be redecorating or you could be moving, relocating. For some of you guys, I'm seeing like an office. You could be leasing an office or you're turning a room into an office. But yeah, I'm picking up like you guys could be changing the house around okay this could definitely be for the holidays or just getting rid of certain things something about you cleaning up your environment for some of you guys you could be cleaning up like the sidewalk or you know your yard or something like that but i'm picking up like making room okay or bringing in a new energy at this time you could be dusting okay or like, um, I'm, I'm picking up like putting things in storage. You could be boxing some things up like you don't use anymore and putting it away. Okay, but I'm picking up like you're bringing some type of energy, new, new energy in your home. Yeah, this is angelic. Yeah, something about you as well. Okay, this is you guys choosing not to focus on the bad things in life but focusing on the good or focusing on what you have. This is giving gratitude for what you do have, what you still have in your life as well. Mm. Let's see, family. Let's see if it, Spirit wants us to know anything else. We're going to get ready to wrap this up soon. Okay, but I'm loving this. I am loving it, y'all. Mm -hmm. God is going to be doing a lot of talking. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of talking. Um, this is going to come through your spirit guides, your ancestors, but it's also going to be coming through other people. Hmm. Yeah, I'm hearing congratulations. You can have other people congratulating you. I feel like family, you got more accomplishments that then you know. Okay, like I said, some of you guys just been looking at the failures in your life, but yeah, something about congratulating you. Or there is some type of congratulations that's gonna come in for you. 
spiritual upgrades. Okay, I told y'all, but a portal has opened up in your consciousness. Visions, smells, lucid dreams, increase in sensitivity levels. So like I said, family, this is like you becoming whole, okay? I'm seeing like a wholeness mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. This is creating a portal, okay, to the divine. And for you to really, really, okay, tap into your true self and discover the abilities that you never even knew you had. This is also kind of giving me, you guys, um, jumping timelines. For some of you, you done been here many, 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 many times before. But you don't, you forgot yourself when you came here. I'm seeing you guys reconnecting to who you used to be before you came here to Earth. Some of you guys, you was on other planets, okay? You, you could have came from a different timeline. You could have came from ancient Egypt back when Jesus was here. You could have came from the 1800s. But for some of you guys, you've been here many times and i'm seeing like your old self coming in and helping you okay guiding you are like helping you discover your true self your gifts mm -mm. i'm also seeing a portal for somebody new coming in yeah whoever this is <clears throat> they're on the same path as you or this is somebody who is mirroring your energy at this time. And it's like the two of you guys are about to come together. I'm hearing collide. Like, you know, head on. Something about you and this person running into each other. Or this is somebody who finally got access to come into your life. Yeah. Y'all definitely be careful, okay, when you're traveling, okay, or going out. We got grandmother spirit. It's around, y'all. And I've been picking up on grandmother spirit very heavily. Okay, your grandmother could have been a teacher or somebody who was very wise. This person could have studied a lot or learned a lot. This could have been, you know, the Bible. This could have been in school. But this was definitely like an educator, okay? Somebody is coming in to teach you from the other side or is helping you open up some type of portal in your life. Yeah, you could have called on this person or you could have been thinking about this person or, you know, I even talk to my grandmother sometimes. So some of you guys, you could be doing this. There's a grandmother on the other side that has heard your cries or your prayers. OK, and this is somebody who's stepping in. Yeah, I'm hearing that. Um, <laughs> there's somebody who don't play and they definitely don't play about their children or their grandchildren or their lineage. Oh, look at this, y'all. And it's crazy that this car landed on top of this, okay? This could have been somebody who taught you a lot or taught you, like, the values in life. They are around you at this time, okay? I feel like you're going to be acknowledging this person or this is somebody who is going to be showing you a lot of signs here, okay? Spirit, what else for the collective? Show me what I need to see for the collective here. If we got R&B music. Then I say, y'all, y'all going to end up hearing something that you haven't heard in forever. And this is going to bring back a lot of memories, okay? But I'm also picking up, like, it's something that could be very high vibrational. This is something that's going to help you or help your energy, help your vibration or chakras or something here. I feel like when you was a kid, you used to love to hear this song or this song made you very happy. It might not be R&B, but it's something that you used to listen to that you haven't heard. Okay, but I feel like it's going to help you to continue to unlock something. Yeah. I'm hearing something about notes. Somebody in your family could, meant, could be meant to be a singer or an actor. Or somebody do have a very beautiful voice. This could be a child. I'm picking up particularly like a, a young daughter. But yeah, something about this grandmother communicating with you through music. Okay, this could be gospel. Spirit, what else? 
on your destined path. And y'all, this is coming out on the spiritual upgrade. I'm telling you. Some of you guys, you thought you was lost. Or maybe you didn't know your purpose or you didn't know your way. It's coming in. Okay? If you ask, you will receive. Yeah, I'm hearing ask with your heart. Okay? Not with your mind. Spirit don't want no fake stuff. He want the real stuff. Sometimes you got to give God an ugly prayer. Okay? Where you crying and you boohooing and, you know, it's like it's your real father. He is your real father. Like, God, why is my life like this? I've been trying and trying and trying and trying. Ain't nothing happening for me. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Okay? But mean it. Okay? Even if you got a, cr a crocodile tears, let it out. Yeah, something about spirit helping um the true hearted. Okay? Something about spirit helping, helping the true hearted or the people who um truly got divine love in their heart. Earth angel. Okay? I'm picking up tingles. Some of you guys could be noticing you have chills or you tingle when you talk, okay? Or chills going through your body. And you could be speaking or talking to someone or, you know, I'm hearing speaking from the heart or like you could be healing someone. They could be going through something or they could have some type of confusion in their life. But you're going to notice your whole body have chills. There's an angel working through you, okay? There's ancestors working through you. And I feel like you're going to start picking up the signs about this, okay? Yeah, God is using your body, okay, as a vessel. Spirit is going to be using your body here. You are an earth angel, working too hard to build a sustainable life, desire, liberation, and freedom. So I, I'm telling you, you got help. You got help. Okay, I'm here and don't deny this help, okay? I'm here and I've been there all along. But for some of you guys, you had to end certain phases in your life. You had to go through a death and rebirth. Yeah, we got single here. And somebody is holding a grudge. This came in in a reverse. So there could be somebody that's single around you, y'all, because I've been picking up this heavy, jealous energy. This person might have a grudge against you now, but I feel like this is somebody who um, is going to start desiring you or, like, wanting to really get to know you or, like, somebody could be coming towards you for advice that really didn't like you. For some of you guys, this could be this could be an ex or somebody from the past that was holding a grudge against you. But it's like something about this darkness within this person is fleeing from them. Okay. This person is raising their vibration through music, or this is somebody who write music or um listen to music. This could be a singer, a rapper. It don't have to be. But um Somebody who was mad that you guys walked away from them is starting to lose some type of dark energy here that was attached to them. This person is realizing you don't brought peace into your life or like you don't have any ill intent against them. You just decided to move on with your life. This person is also realizing that they need to make some changes here. Or that they've been destroying their life because they've been trying to destroy your life, okay? Yeah, like I said, something that went back to someone as well. This person could be single at this time or, yeah, will be single. And I feel like this is somebody who want to know if they can come back to you. This person could be also, like, trying or waiting for you to communicate as well. Yeah, depression in a reverse. Yeah, family, you are combating depression, stress, anger, frustration. A lot of you guys are going with the flow. And I feel like something about you giving God the glory, okay, for getting you out of a dark situation or getting, getting you away from dark people or making you so strong and powerful that these dark entities can't attach to you anymore or attack you anymore. Yeah, this was some type of spirit. Yeah, depression is a spirit. Something about you guys defeating this. 
Okay, we got feeling stuck and trapped, but it came out in a reverse. I'm telling you, it's like the devil wanted to destroy you or destroy your light or make you um, down, depressed or stressed or, yeah. For some of you guys, it's like the devil wanted to make you suicidal. But I feel like God stepped in. Okay, because like I said, some of you guys, you was going through a very, very heavy spiritual warfare. But I'm hearing it's over now. It's over now. It's over now. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. Yeah, some storm is over with. Yeah, we got a new line of work, career, and position. I feel like, family, you are stepping into this. If you're not in this right now, it's coming. Okay, it's coming. Or you're working on it. Yeah, this says I'm trying to get back to you, but this karmic won't let me won't leave me alone. Stalking. Okay. Like I said, there's a karmic here that was stalking someone else, but I'm also picking up this gotta flee. Okay, or this got to stop. Our spirit is bringing this to a stop. Yeah, because somebody is changing their life. I'm hearing a complete 360. Somebody is changing their life around. Stepping on some people next. Yeah, family. I feel like, yeah, you're going to be stepping on these entities next, okay? Because... Uh, we don't fight people. We fight powers and principalities. So we fight spirits. Spirits literally attach themselves to people. Like that woman that killed her two sons, a spirit attached itself to that woman and made her do that stuff. When you see people do demonic shit like that, it's a spirit around. That's why you got to stay prayed up. Okay? You got to stay prayed up. But somebody that's connected to you or this is you is taking back their power. And they're starting to see the truth about what's really going on around them. Not with the physical, with these two eyes, but with this eye right here. Okay? This is an inner knowing. Okay? That they've been under attack or you've been under attack. But this is you discovering that you got the power to defeat these attacks. Okay? Yeah. Clarity of vision. What? Um, baby. If spirit don't show up and show out, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, family, I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe. Ring that notification. I love you guys so much. And until we talk again later.